hello everyone you're welcome back to the channel i bring to you another interesting and quick one so we are going to make this ankara combo both of them are african print and it is an easy one to make so feel free and watch to the end so that you'll see how i made this and also remember to subscribe while doing that so we'll be starting with the fabric i used african print of two years cutting lining of about two years and a piece of another anchor so we'll be starting with the basic bodies i have my fabric folded into two with the lining so to know the amount of fabric to put on fold is quarter of your biggest uh, circumference your biggest measurements mine is both the chest and the waist measurements both of them are of the same size so i, I folded quarter of it and one is bigger than the other the one having the line is for the back which is the zipper allowance and i'll pin them together and go ahead and mark my starting point the line i'm marking is just my starting point and all my measurements will be from that line so the next thing is to take my half length which is nine inches and i'll add the joining allowance to the nine inches and i'll be having my length half length over there plus the allowance so i went ahead and marked both lines so right now I will move over to the shoulder and take half of the shoulder measurement which is four and a half inches plus half an inch. My shoulder is nine. So on that line I'll still come down by half an inch for the shoulder slope and take my neck width of 2.5 inches and I will connect the two lines. Then I'll go ahead and take my neck depth. For the back I'm using one inch and from for the front I'm using a neck depth of 2.75 I'll move over and connect to the points. I'll connect the three points. This is for my front and the next one will be for my back. So on that shoulder area, I'll come down by my armhole depth, which is four and a half inches. And I'll take the measurements across the line to get a straight line. So this line I'm marking now will form my chest line. This is where I'll be taking my chest measurement. And as well, I will add what I have on my shoulder on that line to get the arm holded and I'll join the two lines together. The next thing is for me to take half of that line and I'll mark. And on my chest line, I will take quarter of my chest circumference 23 divided by 4 is 5.75 that is 5 3 quarter and i'll add my seaming allowance i will repeat same to the waist part both measurements are of the same value so i will join those two lines and i will go over to my armhole and make a curve over there So after this, just go over to your shoulder area and add half an inch for your joining allowance. This is very important. Half an inch for your joining allowance and my pattern is ready. I'll just go ahead and cut through those lines. I'll cut through the back neckline first because I'll be separating it at the end to make to trim off the front neckline. So cut through the back first and cut through other lines. So after cutting through the back neck line, I will separate both the front pattern and the back pattern. And I will make uh, my label as the front and the back pattern. The next is to go ahead and trim off the front neckline. I will trim off the front neckline and move over to the back. And to my back pattern, I'll come up by half an inch from the down part to eliminate zip bulge. Like I always say, this is highly optional. And I'll join to the side seam and trim it off. After that, I'll slit the back pattern open because they are meant to be 
two piece they are meant to be two for my zipper to pass through then i will give the zipper area a notch the zipper line i'll give them a notch and both my front and back pattern are ready remember all my allowance have been added already because I cut on the fabric so this is what I have and I'll go ahead to join I'll pick my fabric itself the African print and I'll join both the front and the back right side facing each other and I'll join at the shoulder point by half an inch and I'll repeat same to my lining piece right side facing right side and I'll join with half an inch so after doing this i have a piece of fabric over here this is for my square collar so the fabric is measuring 11 inches by 15 inches my shoulder measurement is 9 inches plus i added extra 1 inches that is 1 inch that is 10 inches then extra 1 inch for the joining allowance that is 11 inches and for the 15 inches uh, my half length is 9 inches so I reduced to you can reduce 2 to 3 inches from it so that if the, the half length will be showing at all so I reduced 2 inches from 9 inches that's why I have um, 14 inches 9 inches minus 2 is 7 inches so 7 inches into 2 places that is 14 inches so the length is 14 inches and the width is 11 inches I will fold the fabric and fold my front pattern as well to trace out the neckline. So I have a middle line on that uh, piece of fabric. My shoulder point will be aligning with the middle line, the middle line of the fabric under. So I now trace my neckline like so. Watch closely, you will see what I'm doing. After training, uh, tra tracing my neckline, I will cut through those the line that I just traced. So seven will be for my front part and seven will be for my back part. And remember I have one inseam allowance that is half to the down and half to the upper part, which I'll be using to turn it. In total, I have 15 inches. And on the width side, I have 11 inches. So this is what I have. And I'll go ahead and slit the zipper part open. So after doing that, I will open up to show you what I have. And placing it on my fabric, this is how it will look. So I reduce 2 inches. You can go as much as 3 inches reduction from the half length so that the half length will be showing at all. If you just do the length of the half length, it will cover the fabric. So place the fabric right side, the fabric and the lining. As you can see, I have my lining on top of it. I folded the two together, place on top of each other, right side facing each other, and sew on those edges and turn out. So after doing that, I notch and turn out and I press them down. And this is what I have. It's laying flat already. So the next thing is to get a piece of fabric. I got the other fabric, Ankara fabric, and the piece is measuring two inches. I folded half an inch on both ends, both sides. I folded half an inch and folded again. So I'll be having the width of the strip is half inch, and I'll be using it to design the edges of the the pattern I'm having under. So firstly, fold into like this and place pin either one inch or 1.5 inches away from the edges pin it all around and at that end you make an angle at that end you know the fabric is cut straight so make an angle fold it over like so and that edge will be looking like an angle fold it over and pin and take it through to the other end as well fold over it will look like an angle and pin so go across all of them and make your pinning so 
So I will not be cutting off this strip so that I will know exactly what, exactly what I am doing. After that, I will trim it off. So I will take to my sewing machine and sew at both ends. Then I will trim off my SS fabric. So after doing all that, this is what I have. And, in, and the remaining one I, that I trim off, I use it to make cable and attach use needle and thread to attach it to one side get your froth fabric like I am doing and place your design over this is your color I'm placing wrong side to the right side of the fabric wrong side of the of the color to the right side of the front pattern and I'll place it and stitch on the neckline I'll just tag them down I'll stitch on the neckline and after that I will get this is what I have I've stitched on it wrong side of the design to the right side of the fabric so I will get my lining and place over like so I will get my lining right side to right side this time around right side of the lining to the right side of the African print and I will sew on the neckline after sewing on the neckline, I will go ahead and give it a good notch because this fabric is already thick. Give it a good notch and top stitch. It's thick because it's having now it's having about four layers: the collar and the rest of the fabric. Then top stitch towards the lining part, the neckline. Top stitch towards the lining part and iron. So after the stitching towards the lining part, this is what I have. And I open up the fabric. The color inside, I will pin it away from the armhole. Because I'll be sewing this armhole now and I do not want to sew on it. I'll pin it away and place the lining on the African print to sew the armhole. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Pin away from the armhole. Place the lining on the fabric and stitch with half an inch. So after doing all that, this is what I have. And I've already prepared my belt. This, I have a video of how I made, I cut out this belt and so it's on the video I'll be posting after now. So just check it out. If you don't know how to create a belt. Check the video after this one. The video I'll be uploading after this one. You will see how I made the belt there. So I will pin my belt down after coming up by 0 0.75. That is quarter of an inch. Pin it only to the fabric, not with the lining. The concept of this whole thing is just to have the lining piece and the main fabric as two piece not one just to have them separate so that we can fix our knit zip our zip neatly sorry just to have them as two piece then after stitching on the band get your fabric right side to right side the fabric to fabric and the lining to lining place it over like so and pin it while I was drafting this bodies my allowance was one inch i'll stitch with one inch but you can still retake your measurements you can still retake your measurements to be sure of what allowance to take so i'll go ahead and stitch with one inch seam allowance on both sides and after doing all that this is the outcome my band is neatly faced my lining and my front parts, my lining and my fabric are separate. So for the skirt parts, over here I have two pieces of fabric. Both of them are of the same length and the same width. The length is 17 inches and the width, each of them is two years. So 17 inches is when I have taken nine inches out from my full length of 25 inches the remaining one is 15 inches plus hemming and joining allowance so i have about 17 inches 
This two piece of fabric was gotten from only two years of African prints and after sewing and joining them, they will turn four years of African prints. So you can actually turn your four year, two years of African prints into four years because I cut a length of 17 inches by two. African print is 45 inches lengthwise. So I'll fold one of the fabric away and I'll have this. This is two years. I will, I will slit it into two because I want the joining to be at the side same at both sides. Then after slitting open, I will take the one that I did not join, the bigger one, and I will open it. These two, I will be joining them at the side. This way, the joining will be only at the sides and not at the front and the back because I do not want to have a joining at my front. So I will place my fabric wrong side to wrong side this time around. Wrong side to wrong side because I want to sew this neatly. At the end, I will not be having frays under the uh, dress. So I will pin it to this side and the remaining part I will also place them wrong side to wrong side. Wrong side to wrong side. I've marked on the wrong side so that you will see that it's the wrong side. I will pin it as well and I will take to my sewing machine to stitch them down. Remember, it's wrong side to wrong side. I'll stitch with half an inch on both sides. So after doing that, I'll just trim out all those all those frays. I'll trim it off neatly. And now I will be folding over to the wrong side. After trimming that off, I will open up and fold over like this. I can go ahead and fold over to the wrong side. Now is right side, right side, right side of each side. And I'll sew with half an inch. Initially, I made the stitching with quarter of an inch while I was sewing wrong side, wrong side. But now that I'm sewing right side, right side, I'm making a stitch of half inch so this way the fabric will be neat inside this is the outcome of what i just made i've concealed all those frays this is called french seaming i've concealed all those frays both the inside and outside so i normally join my skirt by this way so right now i have four yards of fabric as the width the length is now 16 inches because I've hemmed the down part with one inch. Before you draw this line, hem the down part with one inch, and from that one inch, come up by two inches for the first line and five inches for the second line. So from the first line to the second line, the in between is five inches, and from the end to the second line is seven inches. So I drew those two lines and I have a piece of fabric cut out here. The fabric is two inches width, two inches width, and I folded half an inch on both sides, and then I'll be left with one inch. So now, after folding, the width of the fabric is one inch, and I have two for the two lines. Each of them is four yards, because my fabric is now four yards instead of two yards. On each line, I will place the fabric, the piece on top. The line should be in between at the middle of the piece, at the middle of the strip that I just cut out. I'll place it on top and pin. You can pin through to the end or you can carefully sew it. But I will pin and sew on both ends. I'll sew on one end and on the other second end. I will repeat exactly the same thing on the second line place the strip on that line the line should be at the middle then after sewing it this is what i have i iron it down and my skirt is already coming out the next thing is for me to go ahead and ruffle my skirt part i'll gather it the four yards up and i'll do the same thing to my lining so after doing all that, the front and the sketch part is ready. I've gathered to my exact waist. 
I like gathering to my ears that way so that I would not have any um, remaining fabric or excess fabric after gathering. So I gather to my exact waist. My waist is 23 inches plus one inch on both sides for my zipper. I gather to 25 inches and I made a notch on my front part to get the middle point and also to my skirt part to get the middle point and I'll pin them together. You don't pin the lining and the African print together. Remember I said the concept is to get two pieces of this. You don't join them together. If you want to fix your zipper neatly, I have a video of how I fix my zipper. Please watch that out. So uh, on the zipper line, you do not ruffle to the zipper line. Just leave one inch free from the ruffling. ruffling. So after ruffling, after pinning down, you sew with your half an inch. Turn to the lining piece as well and repeat exactly the same. I've ruffled my lining as well, the same way I did to my skirt part. But my lining here is just three yards. My fabric was four yards, but my lining here is three yards. So I ruffled exactly the same thing. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and add my zipper to this. I will link a video of how I add zipper to crown. Please watch it out. And this is the outcome of what I made after all that. Thank you if you've watched up to this point and please remember to hit the subscribe button. I will see you in my next one. Bye.